This is David Carruthers for Data Explorers. And today we thought we'd talk about some of the biggest stocks in terms of serious lending activity in the two biggest markets, the US and the UK. In particular in the US, for the past year, Sears Holdings has been the most heavily utilized and hence heavily shorted stock in amongst the S&P 500. It's now been knocked off its perch by General Motors. So you can see that just by a whisker, General Motors is now the most utilized of the, the large stocks in the US. There's clearly a lot of concern about General Motors. Goldman Sachs in particular produced a note the other day suggesting that their target equity price for General Motors was zero. In other words, there's real concern that equity holders could find that they have nothing. Um, and the reason for that is that General Motors are currently being looked at as a potential rescue candidate by the government. So it may be all right for some of the bond holders, but not such good news for the equity holders. So General Motors is now the, the most utilized stock of large caps in the US. However, if we look at the daily change, we can see that the, the biggest movers in the past day have been MBIA, which is one of the monoline insurers, Quest Communications, Titanium Metals, and Zion Bank Corp. Now these are all names that we see regularly uh, occurring in, in activity in skewed lending. Um, and if I look at the weekly change, you can see that Quest Communications, MBIA, are in the, the top five. However, two stocks to focus on there are big uh, increases over the past week are uh, Whirlpool and Procter & Gamble. We're not sure why Procter & Gamble has, has moved quite so much. They actually uh, produced results which were, if anything, slightly better than expected. But it does suggest that there's uh, been a lot of interest in shorting that stock, so it's worth keeping an eye on. Turning to the UK, uh, we see that amongst the most utilised stocks in the FTSE 100, is Liberty International, which is a property company. And that's been at the top of the list for quite some time. Um, after that, Tui Travel and Thomas Cook, so two travel companies together. If we look at the daily change over the past day, the big movers have been International Power, uh, Hammerson and Wolseley. So that's the kind of sectors that you would expect to see people being increasingly nervous about. And then if we look at the weekly changes in the FTSE stocks in the UK, Top of the list is Royal Dutch Shell, reflecting what's been happening with the oil price, where there's concern that it's actually going to break through the $50 mark. And then Liberty International again, so although it's uh, already high in the utilisation level over the past week, people have added to their positions. And then ICAP, which is one of the exchange, specialised exchange stocks. So that's a quick roundup of some of the main highlights about the movements and interesting stocks to look at in the UK and the US. Tune in again tomorrow for further updates. Thank you very much and have a good day.